am I on the right career path? That's what we're going to ask the cards. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you. And it'll be up to you to decide the answer. Um, yeah, are you on the right career path? Are you in the right job? Are you going in the right direction? Are you with the right company? Have you got the right idea? Are you using your natural born talents in the right way? Um, that's what we're looking at. Welcome back to Hope Tower Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is timeless. It's relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. Um, and there's a reason you've been brought here today. This, this tarot reading is between you, the universe and your intuition. So let's do a Celtic cross with you in the middle and your career path all around the outside and moving forward. I'm going to split the deck into four, four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. First card is the Queen of Wands. Lovely, you're asking the right question at the right time. The Queen of Wands is bold, wonderful, passionate, um, inspirational, got all of the ideas. She's normally got a black cat by her foot. She's normally holding a sunflower. She is a queen of the wands. Um, she's brave. She's very brave, very bold. Makes decisions and goes with it. Um, she's, a, she's a teacher of life skills as well. Uh, if One of the ways that I describe the queen of wands is she'll buy you a book. She'll take you the t she'll take the time to read teach you to read the book. I'm losing my words. She'll take the time to teach you to read the book. Once you've learned how to read it, read it. <laughs> my words are all over the place. Like what? Anyway, once you've learned to read, she'll then take you to the library and she'll give you a library card. If you never read again, she won't hold it against you. Because she knows that she's taught you a skill that you can use if you want to. And that's what she's about. She's and a mentor, she's got um amazing eye for detail, interior design, fashion, any kind of design, cooking maybe, um, growing things, nurturing things. She has the best ideas for self-employment, but then she has to find the structure. She can't always grasp the, the structure of you know, get any ideas into money, but she gets there in the end. Um, she's very grateful for what she has in life, but she's brave. She's brave. So the first card of my Celtic cross is all about you. The Ten of Swords is, is where you're at at the moment with your career over. Are you self-sabotaging? Are you overthinking? Are you at a completion? Are you just feeling you're hitting a glass ceiling or you're just getting frustrated? The second card of my Celtic cross is all about the question. It's like you, like, am I doing what I'm meant to be doing? Maybe you feel like you haven't been fulfilled. Maybe there's something going on at work that's feeling really overwhelming. Maybe there's just something about your career path that feels overwhelming where you're at at the moment maybe you feel that you're not as far as lo along as what you were hoping that you would be um but yeah for something to come to an end means that something else is going to open up um the four of cups reevaluation and thought sitting down and thinking about it the problem with the four of cups is if we sit and think about it too long we can give into depression or low mood or self pity or feel down for ourselves what we have to do is sit down reevaluate it think about it quietly contemplate it and then get up and get moving again so the longer that you are at this place the more harm you'll do to yourself so make a choice the, the queen of wands who's you in this reading whether you're male or female should make a choice should learn a new skill should teach herself something we live in a day and age where you can teach yourself whatever you want by, by a youtube video but she's brave and she goes for it no one can tell her that she can't um the ones the king and queen of wands and even the knight of wands they come from nothing. They're not born with money. What they make in their lifetime is what they make and create. Um, and they don't just make money. They create communities. They create hubs for other people that plenty of people benefit from. Um, 
So don't spend too long thinking about it. Definitely don't spend any time self-sabotaging yourself. Don't spend any time talking yourself out of it. Reach for what it is that you want to reach for. If you're feeling, no, that's not for me, try. How do you know? If you haven't tried, how do you know? If you don't keep trying, how do you know? It's like every successful person. This is something I've read recently, a quote somewhere. Don't know where it was, probably Twitter or Instagram, but every success story is a book full of failures. You know, they failed, 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 failed. But they kept getting up, getting up, getting up. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. So keep trying. Don't stand still for too long. Don't think about it for too long because you'll talk yourself out of it. But be brave. Be brave. It takes guts to go into job interviews. It does. The Three of Cups celebrations. Got good things coming. Um... Yeah, you've got good things coming. You've got nice friends as well, by the way. Um, is there a little click where you're working at? Don't... Like, the thing that's coming into my head is... Don't base your career on where your friends are. If... If you feel that a move at the moment will take you away from your, your friends that you get on with, don't let that hold you back. Don't let your peer group hold you back from where you're feeling that you should be in your career. Um, don't let... Um, another thing that's just come into my mind is don't let... Like, don't not take a job because you might miss out on social time with your friends either, like the people that you don't work with. Don't think, oh, I can't do that because then I won't get to see my friends. Don't do that as well. Your career is your career. Career isn't... I mean, it's, you, you gain friends along it, but that's not the reason for it. Your career is to fulfil you in some way and to enable you to live the life that you want to live. Um, and to pay your bills and do the things that you want to do, but also to be fulfilled by it. Don't let anyone else, friends, family, anyone hold you back from that. Or the idea of, oh, I can't do that because I'll miss out on my social side. No, think about your fulfillment. Your career is meant to be your purpose in life or the thing that, you know, you're contributing to society in some way. Um, work isn't meant to be a celebration either I don't know there's something about friends here it'll make sense to you I'm trying to figure it out but it'll make sense to you because it's your reading um, the five of pentacles is in your past and it is in your past it can be times when you didn't have very much money it may be a period of unemployment you may be going through that right now um you may have been having to rely on friends and family to get you through the past few months or you may just know what it's like to not have any money and, and you want something for you and you may be lacking the courage to apply for jobs that you think oh you don't quite have the qualifications for it's not all about qualifications about showing up show up and tell them why they should give you the job tell them why they should give it to you, why you deserve it, why why you would work hard for them, why it's an investment employing you. Um, especially if you have been looking for work for a while, it can be like, oh, what is the point? You know, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Something better will come. Something with your name on it will come. The universe will make sure of it. Moving on to a better future. Absolutely. Look, you've dropped a whole load of them swords in the river because you didn't need them. Um, you're being guided into a better future. You are. Um, quite often we go through a little bit of hardship before our life takes a dramatic turn for the better. Um, it's like the last leg of something. Feels like the most exhausting bit. And then all of a sudden we get over the finish line, the last leg of whatever, leg of the journey. And then and suddenly we're there and it's like, wow. And then suddenly you can't remember what it was like to not have the job or 
or not be where you it feels like you're not quite where you want to be but you're talking yourself out of being where you do want to be so the universe is going to nudge you to where you should be and it's going to be better than that it's going to be better than five pentacles I've got three and a four and a five and a six <laughs> it's there's a whole journey here you know whole journey on my table three of swords is your secret question is there going to be pain is there going to i think there's a bit of a family conflict here um it's almost i don't know maybe pain towards yourself you may have self-sabotaged yourself so much that it just hurts um okay so you apply for a position that you want or you do that and then you get an interview and the interview doesn't go very well and they, they don't take you on that doesn't have to be a painful thing that can just be like okay that the universe didn't want me to have that job because there's something better that's what you have to look at when with your route with life you do have to think because when you do get the job that you're meant to be in, you'll look back and think, thank goodness I didn't get that other one. But at that point, you would have been quite hurt and disappointed that you didn't get it because you egg yourself up to, yes, I want this job. It doesn't have to be a heartbreak every time. It's like dating. You can get to know someone and after three months, like be like, yeah, you're not for me. You don't have to get heartbroken every single time because not every single person's worth it. And the reason why you don't get attached to that person or the reason it didn't work for that person was so that you could meet the right person. You know, dating and job hunting is kind of similar. Um, it feels like your self-esteem and confidence might be a little bit low at the moment. I'm going to encourage you to deal with that in a way of like, you know, positive affirmations but not just that like put yourself out there with the queen of wands tell yourself i'm the queen of wands i'm going to be brave i'm going to be brave if you're brave you'll see the rewards get them back up and keep trying don't give up um if you're in a job that you absolutely hate something that you like will come along and it'll be so much better than where you are um it just will be ten of pentacles timing on this that's really nice and i've just got goosebumps Double that. Double that. Yeah. And that's the new future. And it's the timing. Five of Cups learn from the past. So you come out of the job interview. That spilt. That didn't go great. You spilt the glass of water all over the desk. And they're just like, oh. But it gives you the job that you do want. That's this way. But you have to turn around and look at it. You can't keep looking at the things that you haven't done. When something doesn't go quite the way that you want it to go, you do have to look at it as the universe picking you up and making you free and available for the thing that the universe wants you to have. But you have to still show up. You still have to go to those interviews. But if it's a job that you're meant to have, you will get it. Um, and then if you get into that job and you're miserable and you don't like it, that's a sign that's not... Maybe you don't want to be there. Maybe it's just showing you that actually this job, you hate it. So don't apply for those types of jobs again. You know, it's like, give you a little bit of a taster. Um, you're not a failure, you know. You're more than capable. You're the queen of wands. It's almost like I'm seeing a very um, naturally talented person at my table, but you feel crushed. It feels like you've been crushed. And it feels like you've forgotten how strong and capable you are. Uh, you need to be strong and capable again. When you leave this earth, you're going to have a legacy to leave behind in one way or another. Your career path is meant to fulfil you as well as pay for the bills and, and your lifestyle and your living costs and everything. But it's meant to be something where you feel that you're being put to good use, you know. You're being beneficial. You're part of a a team or you're part of a, a bigger picture and it you know without you being there or without lots of different people being there it wouldn't happen um being valued I think that's your your worth and your value you have a worth and a value even though you don't feel that at the moment you do you'd be a credit if you're in the right job doing the right thing you'll be the am amazing credit and it's up to the people who interview for those jobs to recognise who has what skills. 
So all you have to do is show up and be yourself. And, you know, be on your best behaviour. <laughs> Temperance, natural flow of energy. Uh, yeah, that's nice. You're going to get the right thing at the right time. If you've been unemployed for a while, your, your confidence is going to come flowing back in again. The Temperance is such a nice card to feel on, um, end on. Um, I'm not going to pull any more cards. But the Temperance card is like the position and where you're going you, you're going from the five of pentacles to the temperance and the ten of pentacles is going to open up to you along the way um the ten of pentacles is the legacy that you're going to leave behind it's nice it's rewarding um stop being so hard on yourself stop talking yourself out of it when you job hunting reach reach a bit they can always say no and so what if they say no you don't have to be heartbroken and you don't have to then think, oh, I need to downgrade. But no, just keep trying. Keep trying. You owe it to yourself. And um, you'll get there. I've got a feeling that whatever path you're on right this moment isn't the path for you. But I think you know that. I think there needs to be a change. There could at some time be self-employment. But I don't know. With the Ten of Pentacles, that could be a family business at some point. But it's a long way to go, it feels like. It feels like you've got a long, long road. It feels like you need to boost your confidence. Um, maybe have a look on YouTube and have a look at uh, like confidence building, workshop videos, things like that. All the resources are at your fingertips. They really are. Uh, be brave. Be the queen of wands. The right job will come along and you'll apply for it. And the right person will give you that right job and you'll never look back. You'll look, you'll look back at this point and think, I can't even remember how I felt then. You'll get there. It's your life. You need to feel that you're, you're doing something in the world, you know, that you're doing something good for you and you're, you're part of a bigger picture. And, yeah, and, and go up go up through the... The ranks, once you get into that thing that you're like, yeah, no, this is my temperance. This this job is my temperance. This job is self-fulfilling. I get up in the morning. I want to go to it. I like the people that I work with. I like the job that I do. I'm proud of my work. I communicate clearly. I have balance in life. I have a natural flow of energy. It makes my heart sing. When you get into that kind of job, you'll climb up for it really quite quickly. And all your hard times be over. The overthinking would have been a complete waste of time. So find a way to boost your confidence back up and you build your self-esteem back up again. Um, you have a value. You have a worth. Absolutely, you do. So I'm going to end reading here. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. Not that you need it. You really don't. You just need to believe in yourself and go for it and be brave. Fake it until you make it. And then when you get there, when you get to the point where your heart's singing, appreciate it and be grateful for it because um, it'll feel amazing. And it's going to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles. So in the long term, you know, that that's really good. I'm going to wrap you in a bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. My angels can take me on to my next reading. If you've made it this far and you'd like me to pull a card for you when I have my coffee in the morning, just write pull a card for me in the comments. I'm more than happy to have a little shuffle, pull a card for you, tell you what I pull. If you see purple hearts in the comments, there are other people in the secret purple heart gang. You are the ones who make it to the end of the reading. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.